Today, let us have some more knowledge about Windows 7. Windows has many utility programs for day-to-day -day applications and entertainment. These additional programs are known as accessories. Example, Calculator, Notepad, Windows Media Player, Sound Recorder, System Tools, etc. Students, please note that Windows 8 is the latest version of Windows. Let us first talk about the Windows Media Player. Windows Media Player runs and organizes digital media files, both audio and video, available in computer memory. We can listen to radio stations from all over the world if internet connection is available. This software allows us to play, copy and create CDs and DVDs and copy music and video to portable devices. Let's now learn how to RIP, copy, the contents of a CD in your computer. We can copy songs from our favorite music, CDs or DVDs onto our computers with Windows Media Player. When we rip music, we are copying songs from a CD to a computer. After the songs have been copied to our computer, we can use Windows Media Player to play and organize the songs, create playlists and copy music to a portable device. Click on the Start button. Select all programs and then choose Windows Media Player from the list. Insert an audio CD in the CD drive. You will see the list of songs stored on the CD in the Windows Media Player. Clear the checkboxes next to any song that you do not want to rip. You can use the checkbox at the top of the list to select or clear all checkboxes at once. When you are done with the selection process, click on RIP CD. The ripping process will start and you will see the RIP status of individual song. To stop the ripping process at any point, click on Stop RIP button. Click on RIP Settings button to change the format, audio quality of ripped music files or you can keep the default Windows Media Format settings. The songs are ripped to the Windows Media Player Library. After the songs have been ripped, go to the library to play them. Students, note the fact MPEG, pronounced as MPEG, stands for Moving Picture Experts Group. MPEG-7, the latest generation technology, is a container format for multimedia content, including video, audio, subtitles, and still images. It works using the data streaming, that is, by transmitting data streams to the receiving device. MP7 files have the extension .mp7. All right, students. Now let me give you a tip that you can also burn a CD using software like Miro, Express Burn, etc. Okay, now let us learn how to copy data to CD, burning CD. Saving important information on a CD or DVD is as easy as saving on a hard disk. You can create your own CD or DVD by selecting a folder of software or media files and dragging it to CD or DVD icon in computer folder. Insert a CD into your computer, the autoplay dialog box appears. Click on Burn Files to Disk using Windows Explorer option. Burn a Disk dialog box appears. Mention the CD name in Disk Title text box and click on Next. An empty disk folder opens. Drag the files that you want to burn into this folder. On the toolbar, click on Burn to Disk button and then follow the steps in the wizard. Let me tell you that under All Programs, go to Accessories option. Sound Recorder can be used to record sounds with the help of a microphone. Right, now let us find out how to display two windows at a time. In Windows 7, we can display two applications windows side by side. 
Open Microsoft Word and Microsoft PowerPoint programs one by one. The PowerPoint window is active at present. Now right click anywhere on the blank portion of the taskbar. Click on Show Window Side-by-Side -side option from the shortcut menu. Both the application windows will be displayed side-by-side. -side. Students make sure only two windows are open at a time. If more than two windows are open in the background, windows will open all of them side-by-side. -side. Okay students, let's learn how to explore pictures. In Pictures folder, we can store digital photos, images, and graphic files. To open this folder, click on Start button and then select the Pictures option from the right pane. The Pictures folder will open. By default, the pictures are displayed as thumbnails in the Pictures library. You will find various buttons like Organize, Share with, Slideshow, Burn and New folder on the bar above the thumbnails. We can also view our pictures as icons of various sizes in the Pictures folder or any folder customized as a Pictures folder. To do so, click the drop-down arrow located next to the Change Your View button on the bar above thumbnails. Select any picture and double-click on it to preview. We get various buttons at the bottom of the picture, which helps us in managing picture view. For example, viewing next or previous image, clockwise or anti-clockwise rotation, magnification or reduction of image. We can also use play slideshow option to run pictures on an automated mode. Let us now learn about disk cleanup. If you want to remove some unnecessary files from your hard disk to free up disk space and to help your computer run faster, use Disk Cleanup feature. It removes the temporary internal and downloaded program files, empties the recycle bin files and other items that are not being used for a long time. Let's do an activity using a Disk Cleanup. Click on Start All Programs. Accessories, System Tools, Disk Cleaner. Click on Start button and type Clean Manager in the Search Programs and Files box and then press Enter. The Disk Cleanup Drive Selection dialog box will open, asking you to select the drive. Now click the drop down arrow and select the drive that you want to clean up. Click OK. This function will search and display the unnecessary files and these can be safely deleted. Select the files that you want to remove and click OK. OK students, note that using calculator option in accessories we can perform simple and complex arithmetic calculations on the computer. Let us now learn more on Windows 7. Windows 7 offers a variety of new features which have simplified our daily tasks. The salient features are as follows. Touch screen. No more mouse. With a touch sensitive screen hardware and Windows 7 software, we can use our fingers to browse online, flip through photo albums and shuffle files and folders. Using touch screen, we can even finger paint in the paint software. This can also be experienced in mobile phones, tablets, ATMs, ticket collection terminals, etc. Snap. It is a quicker method to resize the open window. Drag one of the windows to the left edge of the screen and another to the right edge. In this manner, you can view two windows side by side. Dragging the window to the upper edge of the screen will take up the entire screen. Dragging the window to the lower edge of the screen will expand it vertically occupying the half screen. Shake. Click on the top of a window and without releasing the mouse button, give your mouse a shake. Every open window except the one you are working with will disappear. That is, they will be minimized. Arrow Flip 3D. It is an interesting feature of Windows 7. 
This feature enables you to preview all open windows as a stack. To activate the Aero Flip 3D feature, press Windows key plus Tab key combination. Notice that windows will automatically direct you to the desktop displaying the open windows. To select and view the desired window, hold the Windows key and use Tab key to scroll through. As the required window appears on the stack, release both the keys. Now it will open on the screen. Searching made easier. Using Windows 7, we can quickly search for more things in more places in our computer. Simply type some text in the Start menu search box and click on See More Results option above the search box. You will immediately see a list of relevant documents, pictures, music and email on your PC. The search results are further grouped by category and even contain highlighted keywords and text snippets to make them easier to scan. Students, let us know more. Windows 10 is the forthcoming version of Microsoft Windows operating system. It is expected to be released in 2015. Let's talk about the Windows 7 taskbar. The Windows 7 taskbar is more flexible and provides an easy navigation facility. We can pin our favorite programs anywhere on the taskbar for easy access. We can preview the thumbnails of the open files or programs by pointing to the icons on the taskbar. To preview in full screen mode, simply move the pointer over the thumbnail. Windows can even be closed from the thumbnail preview. The new AeroPeak feature allows us to turn the open windows transparent and makes the desktop screen visible. To do so, just point to the Show Desktop button at the right edge of the taskbar. Now let us look at the jump list. This is a new feature in Windows 7 which takes a ride to the documents, pictures, songs or websites that we use frequently. To open a jump list, just right click on the program icon on the Windows 7 taskbar. What we see in a jump list depends entirely on the program. The jump list for Internet Explorer shows recently opened websites. You can jump to any website by clicking on it in the list. A jump list also appears on the Start menu. Simply click the arrow next to a program name. Students, if you want to download more themes on your computer system, visit http colon slash slash windows dot microsoft dot com slash enews slash windows slash wallpaper. Windows Media Center Watching TV, movies and other video content on our PC is easier than ever. With a cable connection, we can watch and record TV shows using Windows Media Center. Windows Mobile Windows Mobile software empowers advanced, easy-to-use devices that allow the users to send and receive email, browse the Internet and hundreds of applications available to extend the platform. Windows Mobile works differently depending upon place, time and nature of work. Let us quickly glance through the key points discussed in this chapter. Accessories are additional programs of Windows. Microsoft Windows Media Player runs and organizes digital media files. Ripping means copying data from a CD to a computer. This cleanup feature removes the temporary internal and downloaded program files, empties the recycle bin files and other items that are not being used for a long time. AeroFlip 3D feature enables you to preview all open windows as a stack. Jump list feature in Windows 7 takes the user right to the documents, pictures, songs or websites that are used frequently.